please, no, 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 no! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the first yard. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So as you could have seen from the intro, we got some new information involving Madden NFL 22. First, we got the cover. Um, I'm going to be talking about that in a little bit. Uh, but second of all, we also got the official reveal trailer for Madden 22. So really in this video, uh, kind of like what I did last year, is I'm just going to be showing the trailer. I'm going to give you guys my reactions. Now mind you, I haven't really seen the trailer at all. Um, and it did come out today. So this is going to be a first time for me really kind of going through it. Uh, going through it seeing exactly what's gonna be going on here i uh, just kind of give you guys my initial impressions now i will be doing a breakdown video kind of going over you know certain parts of the game based off of the trailer um probably tomorrow um information involving probably franchise mode and all of that lovely stuff i will be going over uh but but with that said all i really wanted to do for you guys today is just talk a little bit about the cover um because you know i'm not too thrilled about it and then also kind of go over the trailer here uh just watch it show it to you guys and break it down so without further ado let's get into the video and we are back so uh really we're just gonna go ahead and play the trailer i'm gonna talk a little bit through it i'm um, really just gonna play it though just kind of watch it see my reactions and then i'm gonna just kind of do a mini breakdown of exactly what's going on here i will be doing an actual breakdown video probably tomorrow involving all the new game modes that ea is going to be adding in and all the new features based off of the trailer but without further ado uh let's just go ahead and play the trailer Okay, so it looks like they're keeping the possibly the mechanic where quarterback can throw while under pressure. Uh, I got some social media possibly for franchise mode. Okay. Uh, all right, so we got the American flag. Got some jets flying over the stadium. Trevor Lawrence, of course, to uh. Dalvin Cook, of course, doing some jukes, spin. You got Saquon. Okay, so you got that animation still looks like. Stafford throwing a touchdown. It's actually picked off. It picked off, okay. Okay, so this part I will be kind of going over a little bit. Uh, that looked very interesting. Uh, crowd, obviously, super loud. Um, homes can't really hear. Okay, okay. 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 So, I mean, in my opinion, obviously EA they didn't really talk about a whole lot of things in the trailer from what I noticed, like they showed a ton of stuff. Uh, that they're gonna be adding a lot of it to me did look like it was going to only be on next gen for playstation 5 and xbox um which i i'm wondering how far that goes because i mean if we look back here um i'm just gonna take a wild guess here and say that um where is it so this part right here this obviously all looks like next gen so i'm just wondering right now is this going to be an only feature for next gen or is this going to be you know can some of this be available for current gen with obviously the downgraded graphics or are they just completely going to try to make the game look all like next gen and just have some features big i'm a bit curious about that let me know what you guys think down in the comments just because i mean it could go either way my guess is that this is only going to be for next gen right here obviously this is a brand new type of like little cutscene here after you win the game with um, whatever quarterback you have uh they're gonna have a celebration like this the team is gonna be celebrating so that's i mean that's a good thing i do like it um obviously you have one right here with brady after winning a game which, which is you know pretty cool and stuff 
Um, the one thing that I will say, though, just kind of looking at this, when Brady is calling a play here, I'm just going to quickly mute this, but when Brady's calling a play here, look at his mouth. It's not moving. Now, that's just not, like, it's a very, very small thing, but, you like, it's an important thing. If you have the license for the NFL, Tom Brady should, you know, when he's calling an audible, he should be moving his mouth and stuff. So, you know, that's just, just a little small thing that EA still hasn't corrected in their game, um, and especially in Madden. But, you know, a bit disappointed to see that in the year 2000 and uh, 2021 now. Uh, because I know, like, I own um, 2K05, and even then, like, when people are doing interviews and stuff, their mouths will talk, is in sync. So, I mean, going, you know, 20 some odd years into the future, 16 years into the future, you'd like to see, like, well, quarterbacks are calling audibles, especially when you have a cutscene like this. The quarterback's mouth needs to be moving when he's actually making noise. Uh, that's just a little thing, though. Obviously, you have Patrick Mahomes right here. Apparently, this is probably only for next gen where the crowd, if they make a lot of noise, you're in a game winning situation. If you're the Broncos, for instance, uh, and you're on defense, the crowd's going to make a lot of noise. And I'm guessing it's going to impact possibly how your players react, uh, especially possibly your offensive line is going to maybe, um, you know, mess with the snap and stuff like that, uh, which is, you know, another cool feature. Patrick Mahomes might have issues hearing. Once again, this is probably all going to only be for. Uh, next gen i'm hoping some of it is going to be on current gen like the crowd getting louder and stuff i could definitely see them adding that into uh current gen where you know it's just the crowd gets louder and the center like people won't be able to hear the like the hut or whatever um in time they could definitely add that for current gen another thing here the crowd definitely um that is some you know tuning up compared to last year's madden for next gen uh you know you got a ton of face paint now uh looks like they do have a little more variation in the faces now obviously it looks like this face and this face right here uh they do look the same so i'm very curious about the, how that's going to play out um you know obviously if you want to have an immersive game it's nice to have these little details uh, where you know people should have like you know paint on their face sharing on the broncos having bronco colors and stuff like that but at the same time um you know it's a rainy game why are they wearing you know hats in the rain like, there's snow hats in the rain. I don't fully understand that, but, you know, we're just going to get past that. They are wearing, they are wearing uh, raincoats, though. Thank you for that. Um, let's see here. So, this is another thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this all is. I'll probably do this in another video, but to me, this all looks like franchise. So, um, let's see. You have set the um, offensive game plan. You have Matt Nagy. This is pretty much the same. I'm guessing they just changed the coloring here. They have the defensive game plan uh, focuses. This is new for sure. This looks uh, pretty much the same. This right here, if I'm looking at it, it looks like you have strategy and stuff. This is a new thing. So this is new. Um, this is new. And it looks like possibly they have better. Yeah, they have next gen rankings possibly for your players now, along with, I guess, like new schedules and stuff. They kind of revamp the schedule so from what i'm seeing right now obviously i want to see like how contracts are gonna be played out um and really the like coaching carousel because that's been a very big part but as of right now looking at this you know this is looking pretty good this is looking um pretty good and this is looking good now here's the thing if you're gonna have next gen stats once again i'm under the impression that this is all for next gen because um Next gen, it was a feature in the next gen version of Madden 21. Now going into Madden 22, if you're going to revamp franchise mode, are you going to be able to have next gen on a current gen console? Probably not. So kind of curious to see how that's going to play out here. Um, that's just kind of my thinking. I mean, it'd be cool to like, like have some type of new feature, though, for sure, when you're looking at players. Because this is what you're going to see when you press a player now, I'm guessing. Um, and just kind of like their stats. Uh, it could also just be part of the game plan. Um, yeah, because it says defensive uh, game plan focus. So this will probably just be like one of your practice menus. Uh, going over here, though, um, obviously you now have press conferences, which is nice. Don't know exactly what franchise mode that's going to be in. You have your manner, manage player health. That's a new thing. You can manage the fatigue. That'll be great. Hopefully they implemented that correctly. And then you also have the coaching carousel over here. Uh, Matt and Aggie, they've already showed this. I'm not sure whether they're showing it again. This definitely looks interesting. The talent tree, 
this looks very good because to me this looks like possibly like a new progression system for your players um which is honestly very very exciting um you know so obviously you know this is all very very good i'll be going a little bit more over franchise mode in a different video um really though what i'm a bit concerned overall is the gameplay because like right here um even like you were seeing animations with uh saquon barkley right these are all animations that have been in the game before and so what i'm wondering is how much longer will they be in the game because um you know <sighs> you know having animations is all about user control and when you don't have user control really what's what's going to end up happen is you're going to have animations where you can't really can do anything it's just going to be the game's going to be like yo this is what's going to be thrown at you you can't do anything about it even if you like you have a guy like saquon barkley who's an 89 90 overall um and that's not really what people want to see they want to see less scripting and more actual solid you know like logical gameplay based on you know user skill and that's been a major issue with gameplay so i mean seeing the same animations and stuff not great they did advertise momentum here they advertised momentum last year as well and from playing madden 21 you know momentum definitely took a, an effect but it definitely to me seemed like more of a um more of an animation choice than it was more of an actual like concrete physics type of deal so i mean it's going to be interesting to see how they've possibly changed momentum um if they have at all uh, obviously you have derek uh henry here you got the toe tap no this is obviously next gen um so you know i'm not gonna say that this is gonna be on current gen a lot of this stuff is mainly next gen um now i think that's really about it here obviously they do have social media so this is probably gonna be for like your qb number one type franchise mode um i'm guessing they're gonna like incorporate a lot of um like new features for the news and stuff into franchise mode and qb franchise um just because i mean they've been going in that direction for the past couple years now and they need to make adjustments for that um speculation so rich eisen this is just kind of hinting at another thing here pretty much i'm you know more more than likely there's going to be a new qb you know type of franchise mode where you have a player and you go through a career um as to the contents of it not entirely sure what i can say is that you're going to have rich eisen my guess is you're probably going to have like these type of like news articles and stuff in the game along with like press conferences stuff like that which is nice um but yeah, I mean, overall, I'm going to say that this trailer compared to the last trailer, if I look at the dislikes, um, still not good. It's still not good. It's because they really didn't... Everything that I'm seeing here, there is no big difference compared to what I saw last year. And that is a very, very bad thing. Like, they, they need to absolutely advertise franchise mode in a way that people can understand it because you know the community understands what they want from franchise now a uh, franchise mode so now it's up to ea to completely verbalize it and when you like just show like i don't know how, how many seconds is this um when they show around like you know three seconds of something it doesn't look great because like like to me like i see all this stuff but i can't register it and so ea needs to do a better job of advertising their product and really saying what they're going to be doing to the next man because this all looks you know it looks great but does it play great do does franchise mode actually have death now does it actually make sense does the gameplay make sense i really don't know um and you know i i just i really don't know what to think about this i mean you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments about madden 22 um, I've been doing this stuff for a couple years now. It just seems like Madden's just kind of, you know, putting along, even possibly going downhill. So the two things that they really need to work on here was gameplay and franchise mode. They showed a little bit of franchise mode. Not entirely sure if they, like, completely gave us what they wanted or what we wanted. Um, and then gameplay, they really didn't go over at all. Like, they talked about momentum. Well, momentum's based on animations, and that's not what people want. Um, you know, so, I mean, obviously, I... I mean, I I try not to have a bias when it comes to making these reviews. Honestly, I don't really have a bias. I want Madden to be great and stuff. As I said, like, graphics here, they look great. I'm, like, super excited about it. Um, Trevor Lawrence looks amazing. But once again, like, they've only advertised next-gen when a lot of people aren't going to have next-gen. And, um, 
yeah, I just, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly a bit disappointed just because it is, like, on, honestly, this year is supposed to be, or was supposed to be the biggest year for EA to step their game up. Because you're having all of these different, like, football games coming into the market. Now, 2K is stepping back in uh, next year. And when you see this type of product and, like, exactly what they're advertising. Like, this is an advertisement to people who have never played. Even for, like, people probably like you who have never really seen Madden before. They've heard about it and they're trying to curious to see, you know, like, what is this trailer really mean? I don't get a whole lot out of this. I only, like, understand parts of it because I've been doing information on Madden for the past couple of years. But, like, it's not very well um, broken down. They don't advertise a lot. The graphics look the same. They added, like, things here and there. And, I mean, I don't know. I I'm not going to make this video too much longer. Uh, really, I just want to kind of go over the cover because um, it, uh, I have issues with the cover as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, I'm hoping, as always, that the next Madden's gonna be great. I'm gonna try to get the beta, uh, you know, figure out if I can fix the gameplay or not, give them some EA some notes on, like, what they need to do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not looking great. I'm not gonna lie to you. And, uh, I mean, a bit disappointing, but, uh, we can only hope for the best, and if EA doesn't, you know, step their game up, their, their sales are just gonna keep going down, and, um... I, I, it's just, it's not great. But anyway, stepping away from that, um, another thing that came out today, Madden 22's cover. Now, I do have an issue with it. Beginning of the video, kind of did a little bit of a, just kind of skit, I guess. Um, here's the thing. With the Madden 22 cover, you have Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady on the cover. And if Mahomes and Brady weren't recently on the cover within the past, like, four years, I would totally be okay with, you know, maybe, maybe having a couple quarterbacks on the cover, like, but, but the thing is, uh, Brady Mahomes have already been on the cover, and when they say that, because EA said that they're gonna have something crazy this year for the cover, putting two, you know, cover athletes back on the cover isn't a big move to me, now, obviously, this is my opinion, you guys don't have to agree with this, I'm just giving what my input on it, um, because, like, Mahomes and Brady, they've already been on the cover. We want somebody new. Like, Aaron Rodgers, he just won the NFL MVP. Where is, why isn't he on the cover? I understand he has a ton of stuff going on, uh, with him possibly not playing for the Packers, but who says he needs to be in a Packers jersey, you know? Um, and then you also have, like, you know, um, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, you know, absolute monster for the past, like, three years, and he still isn't on the cover. The man's nickname is King Henry. Like, that is big advertising. And they, they didn't put him on the cover. So, I mean, honestly, I'm really disappointed. If we look at the cover here... If we look at the cover, I just... Uh, like, this is literally the cover right here. I... It's very simple. Um, I mean, you've already had Brady and Mahomes on the cover before, so... I, I'm honestly a bit underwhelmed by it, and, you know, this doesn't sell very well, because, like, people want to see new faces and stuff, and it's just, once again, bad marketing, in my opinion, but, you know, that's just me, um, I'm hoping, you know, we're gonna get some, you know, solid information involving the gameplay very, very soon, I'll let you guys know that for sure, um, but for right now, this has kind of been my trailer breakdown, I guess, um, kind of went over the entire trailer, um, for Madden 22, I went over the cover a little bit, gave you guys my opinion on it, kind of told you guys exactly what's going to be in the game most likely, and uh, yeah, just kind of gave my opinion. So if you like the video, please do make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, we are pretty chill around here. I do I do uh, MLB The Show type of content and Madden type of content out, obviously. So if you guys do like this type of content, please do make sure to subscribe, turn that bell notification on. And, uh, yeah, you know, comment down below what you guys think about Madden 22. Is it going to be good? Uh, what do you guys think about the trailer? You know, anything really. You can even just go say hi down in the comments down below. I will definitely say hi. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.